Yeah, welcome back to the Comic-Con Cave. I'm your host, the Comic-Con Class. And if you wanted to know what I was doing in the opening segment, I was holding my breath. Uh, the reason why I was doing this was because I was talking to one of my very good friends from high school. No, you can't know who it is. I don't want him to get inundated with emails and Facebook likes and women throwing underwear at him. So um, his name will be anonymous. Uh, but he, uh, we were talking about Spider-Man and the Marvel Universe you know, converging. And he was kind of curious about a couple of things. One, um, he was like, well, first he th- said that it would be really cool if we could get the X-Men and the Fantastic Four in on this whole you know, deal. That's not going to happen, not for a very, very long time. And the reason why is because Marvel and 20th Century Fox right now are kind of in a really big feud. Um, when I say big feud, I mean huge. Um, how huge, you ask? Are you asking? Okay. Even if you didn't, I'm going to tell you. Um, Marvel is uh, in this feud so deep that uh, they actually canceled the Fantastic Four comic book line. And they also sent out a memo to all of their writers on the X-Men comic books and said, you are not allowed to create any new characters that are either heroes or villains because they don't want them to revert over to 20th Century Fox um, as far as the cinematic universe goes. Uh, 20th Century Fox has Fantastic Four, X-Men, anything dealing with X-Men, like Deadpool, uh, which is going to be huge. You know how I feel about Ryan Reynolds. Not a big fan. I can't wait to see him play Deadpool. This is a role that was made for him. Uh, Fantastic Four. Um, You know, with all the news about the problems they had during filming and the casting and all the fanboy, you know, whatever, I saw the trailer. It looks amazing. I'm going to be there opening night. Can't wait to watch it. X-Men, Days of Future Past. Amazing. Uh, X-Men, Age of Apocalypse coming up. Uh, It's going to be even huger. I don't think 20th Century Fox really has to worry about Marvel right now. Uh, Marvel, on the other hand, they really want them. Uh, They lost, but they didn't lose. They sold the rights of these properties to 20th Century Fox. Now they want them back. Um, It's going to take a little while. It's going to take a lot of negotiating. So don't expect to see these universes merging like uh, Sony and Marvel have done with uh, Spider-Man and the Avengers. Uh, The other thing you said... What are we going to do when these actors start, you know, showing their age? Robert Downey Jr., 10 years, he's going to be, what, 60, 70? Um, are they going to reboot the whole franchise? Are they just going to get a new actor to play the role? I told him, I really don't know. And I'm I, I'm really hesitant to say anything as far as this goes until I see uh, Disney's reboot of Indiana Jones. Now, uh, they're not going to remake... The movies that they did with Harrison Ford, just going to grab a new actor and make new stories. And from what I've heard, Christopher Pratt from uh, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy, Star Lord, uh, he's at the top of the list as far as Disney is concerned to uh, take over the reins of Indiana Jones, uh, Henry Jones Jr. For those in the know, um, this would be a great move because Christopher Pratt he has the charisma. He's got the character, and he's got the comedic timing that would just fit with this role. Um, the other remake that's going to be coming out, or reboot in this case, is uh, Escape from New York. And this uh, Hunnam, H- human, Hummin, the guy that played Jax on uh, Sons of Anarchy, um, he's being uh, billed as the next Snake Plissken. And if they did that, that would be incredible, because he would be the perfect replacement for Kurt Russell and um, just the whole character. He would be able to play him perfectly. Uh, Until I see both of these movies, I really don't want to say whether or not they'd be able to replace uh, Tony Stark, you know, Steve Rogers, Thor, whatever. Um, Way too soon to tell. But it's not out of the norm. I mean, look at James Bond. (laughs) Yeah, I got it. Uh, James Bond, I mean, he's been replaced how many times? Uh, Batman. Even Spider-Man, for God's sakes, um, they can do it. They just got to do it right. They got to get the right person. They got to get the right script, and they got to get just the right everything together at once. Um, so, uh, well, that was our conversation. I just figured I'd share it with you. I uh, enjoyed uh, arguing and talking about it with my buddy, and uh, figured I'd share it with you. So that's it. 
Now, if you have any questions, you can reach me in the comment section below. You can reach me on Twitter at ComicConaClash. You can reach me on the internet at, um, what is it? ComicConaCave at gmail.com. And if you haven't had a chance, uh, check out my blog. It's Monday through Friday. It's at www.theComicConaCaveBlog.blogspot.com. Um, every once in a while, I'll throw something in on a Saturday just if I get a hair up my bum. But uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, take it easy. Yeah.